discovered that the universe is expanding. The Quran says in Surah Dhariyat, chapter 51, verse number 47, that we have created the expanding universe, the vastness of space. The Arabic word Nosiyona refers to vastness, the expanding universe. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We have heard that how Quran described the expansion of the universe some 1400 years ago. I mean, that's pretty impressive because until recently, we believed that the uh, universe is static, it is non-expanding and eternal. And uh, somebody like Prophet Muhammad telling that the uh, universe is actually expanding 1400 years ago is nothing short of a miracle. But we need to look into the reality of the picture. You see, Surah 51, Ayah 47, how it was translated. Let me quote three translations by three very important Islamic scholars. Yusuf Ali says, With power and skill did we construct the firmament, for it is we who create the vastness of space. Pictal translated like this, We have built the heaven with might, and we it is who make the vast extent thereof. Shaki translated like this, And the heaven, we raised it with, with power, and most surely we are the makers of things ample. You see, all three translators just said that universe is vast. It is so ample. It is big. That's all. They didn't talk about the expansion of the universe. They just said it is so big. I mean, you don't need to be a scientist or a prophet or a telescope observer to know that universe is so vast because even an illiterate person could tell that it is so big to see. But where did this expansion of the universe come? This came from the modern translations. Some of these modern translations, for example, Muhammad Asad translation says, Surah 51, Ayah 47, I quote, And it is we who have built the universe with our creative power, and verily it is we who are steadily expanding it. You see, the modern translations says that the universe is expanding, not the world translations. That is because... Uh, the Islamic scholars, they translate Quran into English language according to the prevalent existing scientific knowledge. I mean, if Quran were really to say about the expansion of the universe, why didn't an Islamic scholar write a commentary about the expansion of the universe before 20th century? I mean, there are tons and tons of Islamic commentaries about uh, Quran. Not one of them says about the expansion of the universe before 20th century. <laughs> I mean, then came Alexander Friedman. Then came George S. Lameter with the Big Bang Theory. Then Edwin Hubble came and uh, he proved the expansion of the universe through Doppler effect. And uh, then came cosmic microwave background radiation and... Uh, uh, all these evidences to prove the universe is in fact expanding. And after the scientific theories are on the table, the Muslim scholars are saying, well, we got the expansion of the universe right in the Quran. But folks, we need to be honest here. If Quran were really to speak about expansion of the universe, where is the evidence that at least one Islamic commenter, commentator write uh, wrote about uh, expansion of the universe in one of his commentaries. Such an ex such an evidence is lacking, folks. And in fact, we know what exactly Muhammad taught about astronomical objects. For example, let me quote Hadith, the second most uh, sacred source of Islamic teachings after Quran, Al Tabari. Volume 1, page 235 to 236, I quote, The Prophet Muhammad replied, Ali, there are five stars, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. These five stars rise and run like the sun and the moon and, ra and race with them together. All the other stars are suspended from heaven as lamps are from the mosques. You see, that was what Muhammad thought. You see, 1400 years ago, people knew about the planets, but they don't know 
how those planets are revolving. They don't know about how the sun and the moon were revolving. So Muhammad lumped all of them together. You see he is saying Ali, there are five stars, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Mars and Venus. Actually these are not stars, they are planets. And he said that the sun and the moon and the planets, they are suspended. They are revolving and the other stars are suspended just like lamps are suspended from heaven. But these are scientifically false. And you see, also let me quote Al-Tabari volume 1 page 235 where Muhammad says, uh, these words I quote, God created an ocean, three fazraks removed from heaven, waves contained, it stands in the air by the command of God, no drop of it is spilled, all the oceans are motionless, but that ocean flows at the rate of the speed of an arrow, it is set free to move in the air evenly, as if it were a rope stretched out in the area between east and west. The sun, the moon and the retrograde stars, five planets run its deep swell. This is meant by God's word. Each swims in a spear. The spear is the circulation of the chariot in the deep swell of the ocean. You see folks, Muhammad was thinking that there is a big ocean in the sky and uh, this big ocean it has all these astronomical bodies and the stars and the sun and the moon. They are swimming in these, uh, uh, in in this uh, big wash in the sky. That was the knowledge Muhammad actually propagated. And uh, Muslim scholars are not uh, are telling us the truth because uh, how could a man with this kind of uh, knowledge about astronomy could tell about the expansion of the universe? That is simply impossible but uh, Muslims they just uh, read the latest scientific uh, uh, facts and they just uh, go back into Quran and read from those verses and we need to realize that. Thank you very much.